Hello guys, welcome to Get Money Point PS YouTube channel. And um, on this YouTube channel, we try to solve various challenges agents may encounter using the Money Point POS. All right. So in this section of our video, um, I'm going to be making a recap on a previous video that I've done. But now there is a new upgrade. Okay, towards um, using the same method. All right. So first thing first, guys, I want to appreciate those that have subscribed to our YouTube channel. Thank you so much for subscribing. And for those that have not subscribed, please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Just click that button there, yes, subscribe, and that's it. It's not going to cost you anything to subscribe. And also, please like this video. All right, when you like the video, YouTube algorithm is going to make it easier for people that are searching for the video to see the video. And trust me, this video is very important. This channel is one of the best channels that you must be in. If you have a POS, if you are creating a POS, right? I believe you have subscribed, I believe you have liked the video, right? So on this YouTube channel, I want to make a cap on how you can unblock your POS, on how you can unblock your POS for those that their POS is showing um, terminal is blocked due to multiple pin error, right? So um, we know the previous method that I explained on the um, other video is still almost alive but the settings have changed a little on the screen all right so let's get started and i'll be showing my screen i will continue from here all right guys so now we are on our screen you can see so how did we get here you can just type atm.moneypoint.com on your google on your Google, go to your Google. If you want to do reset, go to Google. Don't use the app for a reset. Come to forget password. Are you seeing this, guys? Forget password. Insert your username. And for some people that, for one reason or the other, cannot even remember their username. Okay. Do we have such people? Yes, we do. All right. So we want to enter our username. Yeah. So, all right, guys. So that's it. You enter a username and you click on next. Next, an OTP will be sent to your SMS. Enter the OTP. You receive an activation on your email. So, when you enter the OTP, go to your email. The next thing you do when you enter the OTP, go to your email. So this is it now. We have our username and we've created a new password. Remember the process? We've created a new password. Now come to login. I seen this guys. Then select the account you want to um, change the PIN for. I seen this. Select the particular account. Let's do this. Then you come to this point. Are you seeing this, guys? Come here. Then you enter settings. Are you seeing this, guys? Click settings. If you are using a mobile device, you have to click. You should see something like this on your mobile device. You then you click it. Then you scroll down. Then you scroll down. Then you come. That's if you are using an Android phone or iPhone. But if you are using a system, everything should be clear like this. So you come to the settings, then you come to security. Come to security, select security, reset pin, enter your password, enter the new pin you want to put, confirm the new pin you want to put, then click on change pin. Are you seeing this guys? Very, very straightforward. Click on change pin. Hello guys, so that's it. Very, very simple and very straightforward. Um, in case you have any question or any challenge, you can drop it on this comment section and I will attend to you. Alright, please remember to subscribe and also click the like button to like this video. Alright guys, cheers and God bless.